Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a special quick shot for the 1986 Special Mission Brazil set. This is a set that I've been chipping away at for quite a while. I have to thank Kevin from SEO Toy Review for the mainframe figure. The opportunity arose recently to just go ahead and complete out this set, so I jumped on it and here it is. The 1986 Special Mission Brazil set was a box set of five action figures that contained nothing new as far as parts or accessories go, four of the five figures were straight reissues of earlier released action figures from 1986, the same year, but they were recolored. The reissued figures were Leatherneck, Dial Tone, Mainframe, and Wetsuit. They all used exactly the same molds as the first versions of those figures, but their colors were radically different. Not all of the recolors were bad. I kind of like Leatherneck in desert colors, even though that would wouldn't fit with a mission in Brazil, but still, a desert leatherneck looks pretty good. I also kind of like this silver wetsuit. I don't know that it's necessarily an improvement on the original, but I like it. I think it looks pretty good. Some of the other color changes were not so good. Dial Tone and Mainframe here both have a lot of red on their figures. Uh, they weren't exactly the best camouflage figures in their first versions, but less so here. The one truly special figure in this set and the one a lot of collectors try to track down is the new character, Claymore. Now this figure was not made of any new parts either. It was cobbled together from parts from earlier action figures, but it is a new character with a pretty wild color scheme. And this figure, this character, was only available in this Special Mission Brazil set. This isn't a full review of the set. When I do a full review on it, of course, I will talk about all of the reused parts for Claymore. Claymore. Claymore may be the only new character in this set, but there's one other noteworthy thing about it. The Special Mission Brazil set came with an audio cassette, and that cassette had a story on it, much the same as the Listen and Fun Tripwire cassette. I have listened to the story on this tape, and I can say it is a little better than the Listen and Fun Tripwire story, but not very much. When I do a full review of Special Mission Brazil, I will let you hear it. All of these figures included file cards. The file card text was the same as the version 1 file card. Uh, the portraits were a little bit different uh, just to reflect the different colors on the version 2 figures. Um, they were mostly red back file cards um, and each of the figures included a red back file card. Uh, so if you're looking for a complete set you might want to track down these file cards. These file cards are unique to this set. There's a Leathernex file card red on the back. Uh, the file the card that's most desirable to collectors seems to be the Claymore file card. It's also the one file card that is not a red back because unlike the other file cards this one was printed on the back of the box for the figure set. I am thrilled to have this set and I'm especially excited to have another story tape to share with you. These things are ridiculous but they're also kind of fun. But all that will have to wait for a full review. This is just a quick look at Special Mission Brazil. A true Truly unique set within the vintage G.I. Joe line. There is a lot to say about it. I'm looking forward to doing a full review, but that's just a quick look at it for now. If you like G.I. Joe, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. We do in-depth vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews every week. We have one more G.I. Joe toy review for the year, so please subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss it. As always, I'd like to thank my patrons for making this show possible and thank everyone who watches these videos. You can find me on social media, on Facebook, and Twitter, and I have a website, hcc788.com. I'll see you soon for a full vintage G.I. Joe toy review, and until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.